How's it going everybody? Sean Pila here with The Farmstead. So as you folks might have already saw on episode three, we briefly went over the H braces and the H brace wrap. But uh, in today's mini episode, I am gonna go into detail on how to do this specific type of brace wire wrap. Uh, there's a dozen different ways you can do this, but this is the Paniolo style. Um, my cousin Jesse and my brother-in-law Michiala taught me uh, this theory and yeah, let's get right to it. So you're gonna need, you know, basic tools. Um, I've got some fence staples, hammer, a few cutting tools. There's a fencing tool. And this here is the brace wire. Um, ideally, we'd wanna use 10 gauge, um, but they only had nine gauge or 12.5 available at the farm store. So we're gonna go with the 12.5 gauge just cause it's a little easier for me to, to handle. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna set two fence staples. And if the fence is pulling this way, you wanna tie it from the top down to the bottom corner because the bottom corner is the strongest part of your post. So if you could take a look here, I'm just gonna put a fence staple, I don't know, a few inches above this H brace. And this will be the guide that the wire will go through. I'll do another staple at the bottom here. All right. So you're gonna feed the wire through the fence staple um, two times. Feed it through, needle and thread style. Before I feed it through that bottom staple, I like to just give me a lot of clear here. bottom and again so two wraps total all right come take a look on this side and at the very end we're gonna stick it through again and bring it out at least a foot and a half um i already measured my arm and that's basically the tip to the, the elbow here everyone's different but uh it's best to just measure something that way you don't have to pull out your tape measure every single time so that's good enough for me. I'm gonna cinch it there. And what I'm gonna do now is pull the slack. Step down to the bottom. And it's best to wear gloves when working with this stuff. It's just easier to handle. Pull the slack there. All the way back up. Back down to complete the second wrap here. And again, about a foot and a half off the back. By the way, this is only my third time doing this. Uh, my cousin Jesse kind of taught me the theory and uh, yeah, putting it to use. Mm. Fence staple, pull out all the slack and cinch it. Okay, so before I do the wrap, I'm just gonna dress it up a little back here and make sure everything is nice and pretty. Be sure not to hit the nail all the way in the distance. Make sure it doesn't overlap each other. And that's good. And now for the wrap. So you're gonna go under this and over this one. Got that under and over, and you're gonna pull all this slack as much as you can, and then use your thumb to wrap it over. There you go. And I go about 10, 10 wraps here. Two, seven, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm gonna cut the end off and bend this down so that no one snags. There we go, and then come over to the other side and you do the same exact thing to this side. Under, and then over this guy, pulling in the slack. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Same thing, cut off the end, just cause we've got, we're gonna have animals and stuff in here. We don't want them to be snagging up against anything. All right, so that's the end. I'm gonna wrap it down here. And that was the uh, 
hard to do the tension. All right, so we got the cable wrapped twice. We cinched the end. Now we're going to tighten up the cable. You can use a hammer, a piece of rebar. I like this the best because it's pretty heavy and I still have a lot to work with. So you want to go roughly in the middle as much as you can. And then I go about 25 full wraps. Three, four, five, nine, ten. At about 15, I'm just gonna push on this. Make sure everything's super nice and tight. Okay, and the last part is called the key. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut another piece. Same thing, about a foot and a half. It's about a foot and a half. So this is the last part. It's the locking mechanism and they call this the key. So I'm gonna make sure I'm still good here. Take this guy out. Okay, so pay close attention, I'm gonna go under. About halfway, and then I'm gonna wrap this side over and this right side over as well. Okay, same thing 10 times. And same thing on this side 10 times. There you have it, folks. H-Brace support cable wrap, Paniolo style. Again, this is Sean Kilo with the Farmstead. Oh.